Getting dressed in fall of 1916, I start in my envelope chemise and add my corset to that. Corsets of this era were long and provided a very natural silhouette. And next comes my wool stockings because it's fire fairly clothed and I'm also adding a wool petticoat underneath my regular petticoat for warmth. Brassiers were pretty much universally worn at this time. And they're worn on top of the chemise for hygiene reasons. And next comes my blouse. Blouses of this era were often short and had drawstring waists. Because skirts of this era typically had a raised waistline, there wasn't really much need for a blouse to go further than the narrowest part of your waist. And next comes my skirt with the raised waist and the waist ruffle detail. Skirts of this era often had large visible pockets as a detail on them. And around this time, visible makeup starts being worn also during the daytime. And going outside, I add my winter coat, muff, boots, hat, and scarf. The coat is an antique original, the muff and boots are vintage, and everything else I made.